Hello everyone, and welcome to the final episode of New Super Mario Bros. U. Today we're going to be checking out the challenges. And we're actually going to be using my me. Hello, me. And we'll give him a hat, because why the hell not? Alright, so... The challenge mode... Ooh, right. I've done a lot of levels, so I get way more challenges. The challenges are actually really, really, really hard. Or at least most of them are. A lot of them are. I'm not going to say most, but a lot. So, I have a few that are completed already. And I can save replay, so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to save a replay. Or how to view a replay. Um, that's a good one. Nah, that one's not fun. Coin collection one's not always the funnest. Let's try to do a time attack. Yeah, okay. Lurch Nurchins, that's a fun one. So we'll view the replay, because I cannot do this while talking. We'll, we'll view a couple, and then I'll try to do one on camera live. But basically, we're just going to view me being a complete badass here. This feels like post-commentary almost, but it's not post-commentary. It's actually live. But yeah, you... Uh, on these time trial... Uh, challenges, you need to be constantly moving at all times. If you stop, most of the time, you're probably screwed on getting gold. If you're not going for gold, whatever, it's not that bad, but I always try and go for gold, because I'm compelled to by the powers that be. You don't want to slow down for basically anything. Just run forward. Just leap before you think, basically. And you'll have no problem. I'm sad I didn't get the goal post, but... Oh well. We made it. I don't remember what the goal time is for that, but I'm pretty sure I came really, really close to not making it. Huck it Hustle. Ooh, that's a fun one, too. Basically, all the time attack ones are really, really fun. They're hard, but they're really, really fun. And that right there, that was me being fancy. Because I like spin jumping at times. This one, I think, took me actually, like... A full hour because I kept trying to be fancy for the replay because I knew at this point that I would be showing these for the let's play or yeah for the let's play so I wanted to be fancy in this recording and I think I succeeded at being a, at least a little bit fancy got a couple cool triple jumps and some spin jumps in there you know I can't tell you how many times though trying to be fancy got me jumping into a rock or barely missing that guy you do actually have to land on that guy because otherwise, the timing of the jumps will be all wrong, and you'll hit one of the waterfalls and screw up. So you actually do have to land on that guy, even though it requires stopping a little bit. It is so weird. But yeah, sadly, I've not done all of these. Because they're pretty ridiculous. But, you know. Oh, God. Okay, most of these time attacks are uh, just stages that we've done before, but sometimes you get an original course. Like this one. Good god. This is the one I've been talking about in the Let's Play. The floating boo rings. Oh god. I hate this one so much. You have to... Again, the time limit for gold is 15 seconds. You can't stop. You just have to know the timing for those boo rings. And you just have to make it. It's... Redonkulous. But that's not the hard part. Amazingly... Do it again, in forty, in less than forty seconds, i.e., fifteen seconds or less. While mini, it's the same stage. You're just mini, which means way, way harder. I mean, of course, I made it look easy. Oh, you just jump a couple times and maybe a spin jump, but trust me, it was rough. And even then, in that replay, you saw like it was either the first or second boomerang. I wasn't really paying attention, like. I went through a boo. Anyway. Some other challenges. Into the next uh, mode of challenge, actually. Is, uh... Coin challenges. Some of them require that you get a whole bunch of coins. And... Which basically means every coin in the stage, if you're going for gold. And then some of them, like this one, which I think are way more interesting, is don't get any coins at all if you want gold. Like, zero. Make it through the whole stage without dying, without killing anybody, 
but getting a coin, anything. And that, that flag thing always confused me. I was scared that I would get coins. Now here's an original coin. Here's an original coin. Uh, the original course where you have to get all the coins if you want gold. That one's fun. I like stages like this. The challenge mode idea I thought was really cool. It's just I wish the difficulty of these stages could have been done in the whole game. I guess that's my complaint from Houston Marbles in general, as I've mentioned a lot. Is I just wish it was harder. But yeah. This one's actually not that bad. As long as you're on point with your timing, with your jumps. Easy peasy. And I don't know why I didn't have the hat for that one. I like having the hat on my me. What else do we got here? Waddle wings, swipe out. Oh, I hate this one. Alright, this one, you have to get all the coins. Or, well, if you want gold, you have to get all the coins, but maybe one. And you have to kill every one of these squirrels. And you can't touch the ground. I mean, if you touch the ground anyway, you wouldn't be able to get all the coins, but still, you can't touch the ground. Challenge just ends. Which is harder than you think. Jumping on these moving guys while you're also floating around and trying to be very careful, not as easy as it seems. At least for me, I thought it was pretty difficult. Especially since you're trying to time it so you can get all the coins in a glide. And you're also trying to kill these guys. And if you... Yeah. Yeah, you have... okay, you have to get all of the coins. Alright. As usual. It's just, if you, uh... Get cling onto a wall, it's really hard to kill a guy that's under you. Because you accidentally kick off the wall a lot. And, uh... If you do the little flutter jump thing, the double jump or whatever, then of course you're gonna be just gliding down to nowhere's land. Because you can't glide anymore if you do that. Anyway, this is another one of the don't get any coin challenges. This one is deceptively difficult. There's a lot of jumps that are just like very narrow timing. Like right here. You have to make that short hop over that Goomba. Which is annoying. And you have to do it not quite again. And then from here, this is the annoying part. I've never figured out an easy way to just rush through that. I think I did, actually no. I did it once, completely by accident, and I rushed through it. And it was amazing. But I've never been able to do it again since. So that's my usual strategy, is just wait for him to burn a couple Goombas. And then uh, home free. Alright, I think that's enough of the coin challenges. We'll move on to another one. Although I don't know that I've done many challenges out of the other sections. I think I have. Let's see here. The Goombrat Stomp. One up rally. Jump on the Goombrats without touching the ground. Sure, why not? This is the easiest of these 1-up challenges, but it is legitimate. It's not actually hard at all, now that I think about it. I don't know why I'm showing it, but it's there. Yay! Easy, right? So far, easy. Stone Eye Koopas. This one is interesting. Jump on all the enemies without touching the ground to earn 1-ups. Same thing as last time, except you have a squirrel suit. And you don't have any walls. You don't have any really easy way to keep yourself in the air. Except for using this squirrel suit. And very precise timing of how these Koopas come back. Like, I've never... This is as close to as a good rhythm as I got. You kind of have to reset one of the Goombas with these... Uh, little glide there. That way he comes back before you touch the ground. But it's just... You can very easily, at least I find with the squirrel suit, you can very easily miss by a millimeter and screw it up. And uh, I guess it's just this whole game in general, like, the hit detection is just a little bit wonky at times. It's not quite perfect, like, with a sprite game. I wonder if that's just a fact of it being with polygonal models, or if it's just they use different code or something. I don't know. Collision detection is weird in this game. And I think the end of this challenge is because I accidentally missed. Yeah, see, I missed. And when I went to jump onto the Goom... Or, not the Goomba, onto the Koopa, he just picked the thing up. But that's also because I was a little bit too fast. This one's fun, but I'm not going to show it. It's just get kill all the Goombas. Wait. Yeah, kill all the Goombas. They're going to be bouncing on the cloud. Eh. 
One bullet bill, one up bounce. We might try that later. Alright, fire bro. Dodge the fireballs for 15 seconds or longer. This one's kind of boring, but I'll show it anyway. Just to show you what this one's like. Dodge the fireballs, son. Once you get a rhythm, it's really, really easy. Except sometimes they throw a little bit off rhythm and it's just annoying. It's just a little bit of luck of the draw because they kind of move in weird patterns. But once you got a rhythm down, it's not too bad. And again, as long as you're on point with your jumps, it's not too bad. Like, I only had to move once. Otherwise, I've just been jumping in place. Yay, gold. I don't remember if I intentionally kill myself or if I just die. I probably... Oh yeah, at 50 seconds, I just disappear. Now I remember. My phone's going off. I hope you guys didn't hear that. It's right behind me. Graceful glide. Oh, no! I didn't want to start it! Crap! Uh, can we bail? Exit course. I hope that didn't screw up my replay. Really hope that didn't... Okay, good. Oh, God. I was worried. This one's a lot of fun, but it's also super challenging. It's all the ones that make you do weird stuff that are really fun. But, yeah, I don't really know what to talk about. I just kind of wanted to show challenge mode off a little bit, because I think it's cool. And I take, like, the most awkward route possible, now that I think about it. I don't know if that was by necessity or not. It probably was. And I finally get to the top of the goalpost. Look at me. I'm the best. Like, the, the challenges are very short, but they are difficult. Like, let's not mince words here. They, it looks easy just watching a replay of me doing it, but each of these challenges by themselves took, like, at least half an hour. Except for the easier ones. The easier ones, not too bad. Like, this one, I don't think was too bad either. Did we have a stage like this? I know there was a couple in, like, New Super Mario Bros. Either DS or Wii. And I'm pretty sure there was one like that in New Super Mario Bros. 2. But I don't think we had a stage that was just this in this game. Except for, uh... Uh... We had one... I don't remember where it was, but he had a bunch of, like, mini Goombas or something. Or at least a section like that. I don't remember. Yeah, he just had to... He basically had to let Monty Mole be alive the whole time. I had to resist the temptation to jump on him to get to the top of the flagpole, actually. <laughs> don't stop flight. Oh, all the squirrel suit ones. As long as you don't have to rack up one-ups one ups, are really fun. Though really challenging. This one just fly forever. Although really the hard part about the challenge mode is just figuring out your strategy. Like as soon as you figure out, and here I was like, oh shit, I'm screwed. But no, I survived. Once you figure out your strategy for the course though, it's not too bad. You just kind of do a thing, and then you're done. Yay! And these, cha I didn't realize that these challenge modes really are really short. I figured they were longer, but that's just because I took me forever. Oh god. You remember a few episodes back in the Rock Candy Mines when I said, oh, I had to do a challenge mode where I had to jump on this wobble rock for a long time? This is it. You wouldn't think it's that hard, but you try bouncing on something that's basically bouncing on the, the point the size of a pin. You constantly have to be jumping. If you kind of just stand there, it's going to tip over really quickly. Look how, look how fast it's tipping, just me jumping on it. And I was constantly freaking out. You really have to finesse this thing. I don't like it. It's just... Ugh. Don't like it at all. But we've almost made it. Almost. I think I died like at like 55 seconds or something. At this point, I was just like, whatever. Don't really care. I made gold. We down with the ship. And I survive, because I'm amazing. Alright, 
That's enough of the special challenges. I haven't done any of the boost mode ones, actually. Oh, that's right, because I need a Wii Remote. Well, actually, by chance I have one right here, although it's not connected. Ow! Let me just go connect this Wii Remote. Press the sync button, and then... I'm sure this is riveting to watch. Uh, sync! There you go. Alright. This Wii Remote is synced. Piranha Plant, hide away. What? Change controller. Switch to Wii Remote. I got your Wii Remote right here, son. Alright. Okay, I got this Wii Remote. Let's see, do you want to do coins in the forecast? Eh. Prime plant hideaway. Alright, let's try this one. I don't think you can do this by yourself, but I'm going to try it. This is... This is not conducive to one player. This was a mistake. Uh, uh. No. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this with one person. Aha! Oh, well, at least I got over one part. I'm literally letting go of the Wii Remote. Oh, crap! There's no floor. I have to let go of the Wii Remote to tap the screen. Oh, I guess I can just do it with my pointer finger while holding it. That's hard. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. No, get up there. Okay. Okay. Huh? I think this is worse than the special stages, to be honest. Whoa, fall. Oh, God. Can I kill you? Oh, yeah, I can tap you. There you go. Did it. Oh, yeah, I'm the best. <laughs> I got a gold medal, because all you had to do was win it. Sweet. Alright, new challenge available. Hell to the yay. When Waddle Wings attack. 25 seconds. Oh, God. I'll try it, man. <laughs> Let's do it. I think the hardest part about this is that I can't look at the TV, so... Like, if I just had someone with me, and I was just running forward, and someone was tapping the blocks for me, this would be way easier. But sadly, I do not have that. Crap. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm gonna ha I have an idea. I'm just going to put my finger right under Mario, and after every jump... I'm gonna... Okay, that was not a good idea. I'll put it a little bit ahead of Mario. That way, every time I do a jump, I just land right on the block. This will be easy. Okay, not a good choice. I can't stop running, though. Because if this is anything like the other challenges, I just have to keep running. And I fail. This is... This is not designed for one person! God damn it. Alright. I didn't think I was going to make that, so... I... Uh, don't second-guess yourself, Recky! Should do an actual challenge. It'd be much easier. Oh crap! I was doing so good. I had such a good rhythm, and then they showed up. No! because I have an exact place to put my finger and then as soon as those guys come I have to readjust and it just does not work. Too far. Okay. You just gotta find your place with the finger and you're good. Of course if I just had people with me my god damn it. Okay. Two more times. And then I'm just gonna say screw it. Ah! <laughs> I put it in the right spot. And then I didn't follow through on the jump. 
It's almost like this mode was designed for, like, a helper of sorts. I can't even make it. Alright, well, that... Those... No. The Ring of Water Wings that was coming at me from the bottom, the half of the screen, that was not going to work out. No matter what I did. Alright, we'll try Marathon Glide, and then I think we'll call it a video. Actually, no. We'll try Marathon Glide, and then we'll try uh, Time Attack. I'm boned. Yep. Alright. I'll give three chances, and then we'll move on to the next one, and then we'll call it a video. It's very hard to do while talking. It's not seem that way, but it is. Alright. So far, so good. Um, gonna do that. Alright. Hope that didn't screw me. No, so far, so good. Jump on you. Oh, let me jump on you. I can jump on you and you and you. You always gotta keep as high in the air as you can. I don't think I need to do that, but I did. Uh. No! Goomba! I should have jumped on that Koopa, but I didn't. Alright, one more time. One more time. We can do this. We can do this this time. I know we can make it. Ha! Glory! Uh huh. And there you go. And jump on this one. I don't re really remember which Koopas and Goombas I jumped on last time. Pretty sure I jumped on you. Uh, no! No! Why did I do a ground pound? I got screwed out of that one one more time. Why did I do a ground pound? I don't want to do a ground pound. Should switch back to the uh, gamepad. I'm more used to that. Suck it. What the hell? Haven't I always done that? Okay, one more time. I don't like being, like, on my last try and then getting screwed out of something. How am I just too low? What? Aren't I always that high? What's up? How did I screw this up? Yeah, what the crap? Hmm. This is weird. What am I doing wrong that I was doing before? Am I jumping on the wrong Goomba? Probably. And then I can just totally screw myself over. Whatever, we can save this. Just like that. And then fly. And then land. And fly. And then land. go. See, I can't talk while doing this. Way too difficult. No, didn't want to jump backwards. Whatever. Not very important. Because we're still alive. I need something to jump on. Thank you. Oh, okay, made it. Okay, I'm gonna jump on you. Uh, oh, no! No! I shook a little bit, and then the thing happened. God damn it, we're doing this. Now I'm mad. There's a train in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's pretty quiet, even for me. Uh. Oh, why? We're doing this. I'm pissed now. I don't care about chances. If I can do at least this one on camera, I'll be happy. Screw you. Uh. Glide. Jump. Hover. Glide. Jump. Hover. Glide. Oh, I'm going to stop now. You suck. Timing is off a little bit. Have you guys noticed that? It's not the same. Unless I'm doing something wrong. But I don't think I am. Uh. Uh. Screw it. Be glorious. Damn it. Did I let go of the button too early? What's up? Okay, I'm gonna not let go of the button. 
Usually, like, I just hold down the A button so he does the auto jump. Because it's not Donkey Kong, you don't have to press the button every single time. Ah. The hitbox is just strange on Koopas, I guess. Because, like, the hitbox of the shell is lower than it is on the face. Ah. Whatever, I made it. We can still salvage this. Hit the button. It's not a button. It's Koopa's face, but it may as well be a button. I don't trust the hit detection right now, which is a problem. Ah, oh, let go of the button. Why did I do that? <sighs> gotta stop that. I gotta stop that. Aha! Did it that time. Screw you, video game. Once you get into a rhythm, you're kind of okay. You have a rhythm, you have a plan of attack, and you're okay. Like fighting games. That's why there's whole strategies based around breaking momentum. Ah! Yes! One-ups! I'm gonna glide, because I don't trust myself. Yes! Yes! Make that! Yes! Yes! I'm so happy right now! Making it! Making it! Don't get hit by that! Okay. Oh, freaking out. Okay, we're at the end of the stage. I remember this part. This is where the third star coin is. This is how I got the star coin, guys. This exact method, using a squirrel suit. Did it! Oh, man. Okay. Woo! I'm all warmed up now. I'm gonna do some challenge mode after this. No, I'm not, but I'm gonna pretend like I am. I have stuff to do. Saved replay movie. New challenges. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's quickly try a time attack. Icicle skating. That sounds terrible. Let's try it. I'll give it three chances and only three chances on camera. Later on, I'll probably try it myself. Lots of sliding. La. So far, I don't know if we can still salvage this after that, but I'll try it. Maybe if I'm like totally on point, I can still salvage. Maybe if I just jump into a pit, that'd be okay, too. I'm not used to playing on this Wii Remote. I'm not sure if my buttons, even though they're the exact same. Ah! And you can't really... Uh, you can't spend too much time on an incline, because it slows you down just a little bit. I... Okay, I don't want to be screwed out of this. My last two times, I got screwed. So, we're resetting those two times. Coming back, bringing it back, running it back. Let's go. There you go. Now this counts as a legitimate try. Of course, I say that and then kill myself. Alright, last one. Let's go. Actually, I'll just go till half an hour. So, I give myself one more minute. Or, not one more minute, sorry. Actually, yeah, one minute, according to my thing. Of course, my time is a little bit faster than yours. Or a little bit longer than yours, because I have a little bit to cut out at the beginning. As it always is. I'm not sure how other people sync up their audio, but the way I do it... ...requires me cutting out a bit at the beginning. Okay. Oh! Oh, God. Not cool. Jesus Christ. Gotta focus. Don't get hit by that buzzy beetle. Do the thing. Yes, we're gonna make it. Are we, though? We have eight seconds. Make it. If you don't make it, I'm gonna be so mad. We did it. Five tries it took me. Five tries. That was within the run back. 
and the battery on my gamepad's gonna die. Crack my knuckles. Crack my neck. We're good. Saving. Blue Yoshi! Son! If you guys wanna join my group, the uh, Blue Yoshi Troop, uh, hit me up on Scoop. Scoops. Klepik. Anyways, I well, I guess this is the end of New Super Mario Bros. U forever and ever, unless I do New Super Mario, New Super Luigi, or yeah. So, one final time, leave a comment. A, telling me if you like this LP at all, and B, if I should do New Super Luigi U. I pretty much decided that I wouldn't be getting all the star coins on camera, even for like a like an after episode thing. I'll just get them all off screen. Yeah, anyways. Man, that's weird. I don't like closing out LPs forever. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.